Hello everyone, this is Asus from Hustling Labs and today I will be showing you how to create an email inbox similar to Gmail but in Bubble.io. In this video we're going to be talking about more about the UI functionality rather than the workflows or any API connections and there will be videos in the future that talk more about those API connections and those workflows that you will need to do in order to achieve an email inbox in your bubble development. But today we're going to be focusing more on the design aspect of this. Just to give you an idea, I already pre-built some of the functionality, but no worries. We are going to rebuild them again in our bubble application. So the first thing is an inbox like this one, where as you can see, it is similar to Gmail, you can click on the email and you can read the email and you can reply forward, although this functionality is not available yet, you can go back, you can compose an email and so on and so forth. We're going to reveal all of this in a brand new installation. So heading here, we have our initial application system. We're going to skip it, but what I want to do is. There are two plugins that I always install, which is the API connector and Google material icons. We're going to install them right away. And the second thing that we want to do is we want to go to the database. And once we go to the database, we want to make sure that we have everything that we need. So for the user, we're going to add a first name and this is the test type. We're going to add the last name for the user. And this is also test, but to add a job title, which is completely optional, but uh, we're going to add it and we're going to add a profile image. And this is going to be the image type. Second thing that we want to add is nothing on the mail boss. And I'm going to be taking a look at the what I already have built, so just to make this be faster. So the owner, which is a user type, we're going to leave it at that for now. Now for the emails, we're going to add attachments, which is file type. We're going to add our body, which is the email content, the read content, and this is going to be test. Then we're going to add mailbox and in this is a mailbox type. Whether or not it's being read, this is Boolean. So we yes or no. So who was receiving it? The user type, that function to schedule, of course, not today, but in the future, who's the sender? This is more for an internal mail bus, but um, that's the sender. Whether or not is there. So it's going to be again, Boolean, yes or no. And then we want to add the subject, which is test type. All right, the next one we're going to add is the span. And here all we are going to add is which email and which mail address. And that's it for that. Yeah, we don't have any options that's been in yet. All right, cool. This in this tutorial, tutorial we're going to learn about, about option sets. sets. We'll learn, we'll learn about, about. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the design tab. We're going to make sure this is a row because we're going to be designing from left to right. And we're going to add two groups on the first group. It's going to be the sidebar, which is a column and 
this is going to stretch all the way down. So that to be a hundred percent and to the side, it's going to be 15%. The next group is going to be again, hundred percent down. And this is gone. It's going to stretch out for the rest, but it's going to be a hundred percent going down. Now we're going to change the name. Just so we know. And this is me. Now we're going to add some padding. So it's going to be 24 pixels all around. We're going to add a logo image. So it is to be the Hustling Labs logo. And this is going to be center. It's going to be about 72 pixels. Yep. And now we can start adding groups for the menu. So the first one, uh, let's do something really quick. We're going to add high spacing elements and the spacing will be 12 pixels. So this one is going to be a row. It's going to stretch out all the way can and it's going to be 40 pixels high and next we're going to add a an icon and we're going to make sure that there is some spacing between so it's four pixels this is going to be the dashboard let's go it down it's going to be the main color and that would be in both. And you can stretch all the way up. We actually want it to stretch all the way up. And this is going to be a small title. All right, so that's the first one. Now we're going to replicate these a few times. And as you can tell, we have a few here that we will be using. So stairs, send contacts, current mailbox. So we'll just add them. So stair, this is star. Send. Contacts. Uh, we're going to leave it at that for now. And we're going to change the name of these. All right, so I like to call menu for the menus. So I know later on. So menu, the, the context is on. That's menu. We're going to reduce this from 24 to 16. And the reason why is because we're going to bring some here. So it's going to be about four and eight pixels. Should have done this four, copy and pasting. But we are getting it done. This one is last. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a conditional when this group is hover. The background style will be fifth color and the background color would be this, but that is six percent. And we're going to copy and paste this condition.
Okay, we're going to preview, make sure that we looking good. We might change from, yeah. So this is actually going to be 10%. And we're going to change the brownness to six. These are minor changes, but should make the app look uh, nicer, hopefully. And the last one is this one. Let's go and double check. Yep, exactly what I wanted. All right. We're going to reduce the size of this. So this small title, the way it does style, it's going to be a 16. And we're going to change this. 16 pixels. I think that really looks much better. Yeah. At least for now. We're going to delete this. All right. So that was the first part. So because we did 16 pixels for padding there, we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to add 12 pixels gap. And we're going to start adding some elements. So the first element we're going to add is going to be this test here and the word inbox. Uh, actually, before we do that, the first element we're going to add is going to be this heading up here. So we're going to drop a group top. It's going to be a row. And we're going to spread it out all the way down. We're going to add another group here for the search element to bring it down again it's going to be a row background it's going to be a flat color primary color 10 percent and one is going to be 20. and this is going to be about this 20% is about right. I don't need that wrong. Curl looks about right, actually. And we can split that later. Okay, so we're going to again add some padding inside. The palette we have been using is eight pixels, so add eight pixels in there. Next, we're going to add a Google Notif icon. And this is the search element. And we're going to drop a search box. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to add and input. And I will tell you why in a few. We're going to search to make this expand it. Search. Okay. Okay. search. And no order. All right, the next one we're going to add is going to be a group for the profile image. And this is going to be a column, let's say 44 by 44. It looks about right. Oh, and the roundness will be a hundred. We want a perfect circle. And we want the border to be solid with two. And we want the border to be at that dark border, but actually, 
Let's match the, the layout we have been building. And this is going to be pixels. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop an image in there. It's going to be as big as it needs to be. This roundness will be a hundred again. Actually, we're not going to make it that big, but if we're say 40. Okay. And just center every. Let's give it some more. All right. So this image, I would be a dynamic image. So it would be the current user profile image. And we want to process it with our hands. And we're going to stretch it. Okay. So I think I can make this a little bit bigger, just make it a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay, so I'm going to create a new user. So this user would be myself. So soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vasquez, a Vasquez that post apps. My own profile image. Then we're going to save it. I'm going to want to see that. Okay, and let's take a look. And there we have it. It looks pretty nice, although. Not what I wanted. So, to the way it's working. Oh. It's about 36. Yeah, 28. Just eight pixels on each side. Yep, 28. Let's take a look at it. Think that. Yeah, much better. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a border. So we're going to define each border independently. The right side is going to be solid and it's going to be again. And this time we're going to make it five just to be really, really solid. Yep, and that divides both sides. We're going to take that to both back of and as you can tell the line goes all the way down and it's a full 100 percent all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a link element here the link element all it's going to do is it's going to make sure that it if you need to go back to the inbox it goes to the inbox and then we're going to set that up later on and we're going to set up another group. It's going to be a column. It's going to stretch out. And it's going to stretch all the way down. All right. And this is could be group involves. So I know which one I'm getting at. And this one is going to be using the word inbox there. But this time it's not going to be 16 pixels. It's going to be right to eight. 20 pixels yep let's edit this oh i like adding this size to the enable just so i can reference it later on so it's about right now we're going to add a repeating group again we're going to add some gap in between 12 pixels um, and this is going to be Yarrow. Yeah, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, well, we're going to stand this all the way up as long as it needs to go. 
and no, certain amount rows. Think about 70, 80 pixels should do it. We're going to add a group and this group will be a row. I'm just staying all the way out and this is group message. Say one, so I know that's the main one. Oops. And we're going to add a material icon. So the material icon is going to be a chef boss. It's going to be empty. So that's how you are going to be able to select a wish message. And we're going to center these ones. So that's the first one. We're going to add some gap in between. It's going to be four. Second one we're going to add is going to be a star. And before we move forward in this inbox, we're going to create a custom state. The custom state is email selected, email and multiple entries. So basically when we click here on this selector, it will add them to that custom group and we will be able to see that that one has been selected using this workflow. So you're going to start in edit workflow. We're going to set the stay. We did it in the group inbox main. Email selected. And we're going to add the button 10. We have to go back and make this email a current thing. And it's going to be emails. And we're going to search for email where the receiver equals current user. And now we go back, parent, we're adding is parent email. Let's go back and see the room. I'm going to review again. Email selected. Oh. So it's going to be parent email. Or let's delete this. Let's try it again. So, oh, I know why it's wrong. What you want to do is you want to do the main inbox, where selected, plus item. So basically what you're telling is, hey, take all the emails that you have in this custom state, keep all of them, but add this current inbox uh, email to, to the list that you have. This is going to be only when the group inbox main email selected doesn't contain on uh, this email. Basically saying, Hey, if when you look at the emails that you already have on your list, if it doesn't contain this specific email, please add this one to the list. Now we're going to set another one that that is the opposite. So it's going to be inbox main, email selected, and minus parent group email. But this is only when group inbox main, email selected. So that's the const, the state doesn't contain on this email. Now, with that being said, we're going to go back here. And we're going to create a conditional. So when we're going to go back and get again, the custom state, when it contains this email, we're going to change the icon 
and this is going to change it to check. So with that being said, let's do some minor changes here. I don't like having borders. So delete the border. Actually, we're going to overwrite this and delete the borders from now on. So we don't have to be making these changes later. And we're going to go to the database. We're going to create another user, Presley. So I'll be speedy at h labs conf. It's not going to be, uh, not going to have profile English. But now we can send emails and we can create emails. So it goes back and forth. So the body is going to be float balls. It's going to be scalable. It's going to be sent to me. No sender. Is there no? Thanks for hiring me. Sure. Now we will have a uh, one email here, which we are not seeing anything. So we're going to add some more data here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to add who's the parent group email sender. Let's see. With the first name, let's see. send their last name it's going to be center and let's see i'm going to make this semi bold center it particularly so we're going to take this to add another two this is going to be subject And this is going to be body, but we're going to truncate it to 100 characters. Basically, what that does is it cuts to 100 characters. And we're going to put this two in a column. We're going to let them stand out as long as they need to go. And this one is, it's going to be a little bit smaller. So it's regular. It's going to be 12 pixels. And I think this is a little bit too smooshed together. So we're going to put an A. And we're going to create one last test that is going to be the creation day. And we're going to format it as, and we're going to only add the time for now. And let's go back and see. Let's see what we did wrong here. Actually, on um, privacy rules. Everyone the years can see the first name, last name, title, profile image. And as you can tell, we have a pretty good first version of what we're trying to accomplish here. To select the first parent, we're going to add some gap. Four pixels should be fine. And we're going to center everything. Let's try this one more time. All right, so we got one. Let's add another one. The receiver, again, is going to be me. The sender, 
it's going to be Elvis. He's in the stick. Okay. So as you can tell, we have now two emails here. Let's say that I wanted to delete this one. Oh, I can click and okay. So it's not working as intended. Let's go back and see what's going on. I'm going to edit the workflow. And should be removing it. Let's see. contains okay that was a big oversight so let's see now what is the issue when it doesn't contain you add this when it contains you remove it this is, am I getting this wrong? No. Oh, don't care. something going on here and I don't quite know what it is. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. Right, let's see how I can close this thing. <laughs> okay. Let's select it. Things. Okay, yeah, sounds about right. All right, we will deal with that later. Now, the next thing we're going to do is every time we click there, we want to get a menu. So it's going to be row, then down. And this will be about 40 pixels. And we're going to add some icons in here. Let's take a look and see what icons that we added before. So we have a checkbox. We have a refresh. We have a trash can. And we have uh, envelope. All right. So we don't want these two to be present at all times. So we are going to get rid of them for now. So we don't want them visible on page load, then they go. So one hidden, but when um, when this custom state is not empty, so first item is not empty, we are going to make it visible. So let's make sure that. Yep, they're not visible right now. We still have to fix this issue. We're going to explore it here in a moment. And the next thing, we're actually going to do something. Let's see. We're going to duplicate this and we're going to add them to different 
workflows. So, awesome, and we can delete this one. This. Uh, let's try again. I think this is the face that we need. Yep, he is working as intended. So, looks like we're good. Now, here we're going to be adding some functionality. So we're going to add a, a pop-up. It's big. And this is delete email pop-up. And we're going to, again, this is column. Padding would be 60 round, just like all other groups. And the pop is going to ask if the user is sure. It's email. It's going to be center. It's going to be 16 pixels. We're going to add a group here. It's going to be row. Stand all the way out. I actually got to make this at the bottom. And this is going to hold two groups. One that says, yes, we're sure. And the other one is going to say, no, we don't want to do it. It's got to be a check mark. Center. And it's going to say, Yes, I'm sure. And the other one is going to say no. Span all the way again, just to me. Yeah. It's going to be center. And this is going to be that there. No, don't need it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fine. That's fine. Want to fit with the content fit with the content. Same thing. This one and this one. And we're going to turn the opposite sides. So basically when you click this, you're going to um, show a pop-up. We're fine. And when you click on the yes, I'm sure. What it's going to do is it's going to delete all items that are in the inbox main in selected. And if you say no, it was an oversight. You didn't mean to do that. You're going to hide the pop-up. Let's make sure that it works.
Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Once you click yes, it should disappear. It should hide the element. And that should be good. I have this sys. Sys. Want to add some padding. Run. Three, four. Actually, it's going to be eight. And we're going to change the padding for this one. It's going to be eight. And again, we're going to add this conditional and another conditional here. So just to make it a little bit nicer in terms of the user interface. When you click, there you go. No, and you can go back and you can remove it. That's it for this video.